What is up guys this is Karan here welcome back again to Tech Karan YouTube channel Xiaomi's MIUI 12 is now already available for Redmi Note 8 users like MIUI 12 Global Stable, MIUI 12 India Stable and MIUI 12 China Stable already available but still not available as an OTA update which means if you have installed all of those updates you might need to install a custom recovery or unlock bootloader some guys just installed india stable without unlocking a bootloader installing that ota update but the thing was that was not available as an actual ota update and also i have noticed some little bit of differences there features missing and a lot more things so it's better to install these kind of custom rooms this one is mini 12.2 mi alpha 20.11.5 beta version which has all those missing required features and yes all included mini 12 features also which are those kind of things and why you should install this build let's find out guys if we talk about this room this one is mini 12.2 mini alpha update unofficial update right now available for redmi noted users which is actually based on android version 10 you can see android version 10 with the latest security patch of 1st of october 2020 does not include many much features from you can say the china beta because china beta include a lot of features but has very cool kind of things let me show you which of these things you can see this recent panel which looks very very interesting this is ios kind of recent panel also a horizontal recent panel if you don't know about this i already have a video on that how you can get these kind of horizontal recents on a xiaomi device and emu 12 and this is pre-installed i have not installed these kind of things and this is also something different you can see this is ios kind of things so you can see this is ios kind of thing available like this and these are the cards kind of recent menu which looks very very interesting also if we talk about this feature which is called floating windows it's now available here you can use any app in the floating windows without any issues like this you can use any app here so some cool kind of features are already present there you can do whatever you want to try it out there are a lot of things available also it includes all the mini 12 features which includes this app drawer and some little bit of more things which we're going to talk about later on so let's move on to some things in this custom room first of all if you talk about the power menu which is changed of course which is a mini 13 power menu you can see by double tapping here you will see this recovery mode and the fast boot mode and by default restart and power off which is also available in this build default by default i have not installed this as a third party thing so some cool kind of interesting things features are available floating windows also this kind of gesture option is available here which is called a navigation bar pill which you can adjust by going into additional setting full screen display and you will see the option to hide the full screen indicator if you want to also we have the swipe up from, up from the corner to access the google assistant so almost everything is available here and this is on those main reasons behind using this room on your device if you're using a xiaomi redmi note 8 and yes we have a lot of issues in minui 12 update didn't got very cool kind of minui 12 update yet yes got the minui 12 india stable minui 12 global stable but honestly that was not up to the mark i've used that for some time was good but features missing doesn't matter if you are using me 12 or me 11 it's just same kind of feeling there talking about this it has the control center i've not enabled it by the way by default you'll see this kind of control center like the miui 11 one but you can enable by going into settings and going into notifications and control center and the control center style to the new version so yes you can enable the control center side like this so you will be able to use the control center and control center is no issues i have tried and tested it's working fine here it's based on the latest beta so no issues here and there as miui 12 is officially already available for redmi noted users it's not a copied kind of thing officially not rolled out as a stable build but it's already officially available as a beta build from a long time now if you are if you have unlocked bootloader custom recovery installed you might need you might see that you can also install these kind of things switch control center side option is available here too by going here you can simply switch the control center side by default it will be open from this side but after clicking this switch control center side you'll see your control center will be open from the left side of the screen 
from now on but i personally don't use the control center and i will recommend you not to use because if we are using a mid-range device which has some issues in ram management for sure in my case if i am using 4gb variant and yes i am using 4gb variant i will definitely not recommend you to use the control center if you're using a 6gb variant you can use that because control center has a lot of these kind of things issues now let's move on to some things first of all let me show you by going into my play store and going into settings options in my case device is certified which is quite great i can use the banking apps without any issues i've not tested it by the way i've not tested any banking app till now but device is certified banking apps should work without any concern so this is also one of those cool kind of things also this room comes with some apps pre-installed let me show which of those are pre-installed first one is the instagram which is pre-installed i have not tried anything here but instagram is pre-installed you can use without any issue so don't make a backup of instagram you will get instagram pre-installed also get the plus message if you're using a telegram on a device with the plus messenger pre-installed we also have a viper for android fx pre-installed i have not installed it yet viper for android i have not activated it and i'm not a huge fan of viper for android if dolby would be installed i would definitely go for it but viper is installed i'm not a fan of viper so i will not use that in any case from now but moving on to some cool kind of other things which are installed here Minion 12 camera is available, Gcam is available. If you want to have Gcam, you can install the Gcam. This is Gcam Greatness Edition. Uh, the link, the video, everything is on my channel. You can simply go and check it out about Gcam Greatness Edition. This is the Gcam Greatness Edition which I was talking about, which has almost every feature working here. I am using it from some time on my Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 8, and both of the devices had no issues. Google AWB, Motion, HDR+, Flash, almost everything seems working here. And if you go for other things, we have the Exposure Compensation, Save Location, Cyber Settings, AWB Back, which you can adjust by going into this. You can check out which sensor you want to try it out. Custom Lips Options is available here. Going for the Advanced Settings, some HDR+, Plus Controls, Lip Patcher, a lot more things. I have made a full review on Google's this Greatness Edition Gcam. If you want to try it out, the link, video, everything is on my channel. Just go and check it out right now. You'll never be disappointed by using this Gcam Greatness Edition. Now, if you talk about some cool kind of things, let me show you by going into Theme Store. We have the Theme Store, which is in Chinese, but very cool kind of features available by going into My. And here we we'll see the Themes option. You can simply import any theme. I've tried to enable this theme, Cyril in UI. And this theme is also available as a theme in my in my channel in my channel go check out if you want to try it out still anyway and if you want to try out importing themes you can simply import without any issues i've tried to importing third party themes i have a lot of third party themes already available and i have made a lot of videos on third party xiaomi themes we have a lot of themes available like this i can enable i can use any third party theme from here without any issues and that will not be reverted back to the official one because i'm using theme store but honestly i've not tried that because i don't know about this how it is based on from which for which room this is based on if it is based on mi eu or if it is based on global one so not sure about that but it should work definitely fine because i've tried and using it from some time the still anyway the theme was working fine here but for the most time like two hours three hours or more than five hours i'm I'm not sure about that theme because i've not tried those kind of themes yet moving on to some other things almost same kind of things if you go for the settings option we have some little bit of features as i already told you notifications and control center which is fine here display doesn't include many extra features light mode dark mode as expected available here you can also schedule a dark mode if you want to text side font weight little bit of things are available which you can adjust Home screen also include the app drawer option as I already told you. Home screen layout which you can adjust to 5x6 or 4x6 but doesn't include many features. Going to wallpaper section has these kind of wallpapers which include some system wallpapers which are from MinUI Alpha. If you want to try out these wallpapers you can go for them and try it out. The developer of this build is Shades of Death. His Telegram account link is also in the description and you can ch check out if you want to try it out. 
passwords and security privacy protection is a new feature which is available now and whenever an app will access something like chrome will access clipboard it will show you pop-up like that previous time it showed me a pop-up so let's try out if it will show me pop-up like this right now as you can see chrome exit items chrome exist items in the clipboard so these are some privacy protection issues are also available screen time special features special features includes a video toolbox game turbo floating window second space menu lab and light mode but doesn't include many extra features like the menu javanese or some little bit of other rooms which are a lot of features so if you're looking for a feature based room we have the menu a pro menu javanese some other rooms if you want a full stability and the latest update you can definitely go for this one this is all from today's video if you want to install it of course you can install it by custom recovery i don't think so i need to make an installation on this thanks for watching and goodbye